Okay, we're going to go ahead and try to jailbreak an iPhone 3GS that's running iOS 4.0.1. We're going to go, we're at the blog post at the TII website. Talks about this. We're going to just tap on this here. And it says jailbreak. To get tweaks and apps, um, Apple won't allow in the App Store, free, legal, safe. All right, just slide this to jailbreak. And it says downloading might take a while. Let's see how long this takes. Saying jailbreaking, sitting tight. Don't forget, once you jailbreak Insidia, you want to look at Backgrounder, you want to look at Five Icon Dock. And my why is the application to turn your iPhone into a mobile hotspot. I'm just going to see how long this takes here. Tighter grip. coming along had a lot of focus there of course while you're waiting for this don't forget if you haven't subscribed to the TII podcast make sure you do so uh, go to todayinios.com to find the podcast and while you're in iTunes don't forget to download the TII iPhone app so just search for TII so we're about two and a half minutes into this whole process really we're about two minutes in because the first 30 seconds we're just saying we're getting ready to do it City has been added to the home screen. Have fun. It says that's it. So let's see what happens. Let's go here and click OK. And I guess we we'll just close this out. And we're fine. City, here it is. And first time users, you're going to want to click on user graphical only. Matter of fact, almost even many time users will want to do that too. The beauty about this jailbreak here seems to be it works obviously for iPhone um, OS 4 or iOS 4, but even more important, uh-oh, error refreshing data, couldn't fetch, click OK, it's going to reload data, is the fact that it doesn't require a computer, it doesn't require any SSH uh, blobs, SHSH blobs, so you didn't have to do anything special, it should work for any iPhone, uh, complete upgrade, and Confirm. Focus better. And now return to Cydia. Note, one of the big issues right now with this jailbreak is if you're on an iPhone 4 is that FaceTime isn't working and if you use MMS, MMS is not working. Now since I don't use MMS, um, 
not a big issue, so I'm going ahead and jailbreaking my iPhone 3GS. My iPhone 4, I do use FaceTime, so I'm going to hold off jailbreaking my iPhone 4 at this point in time. But if you have a 3GS um, or a 3G and you want to jailbreak, um, then this seems to be the way to go, unless, of course, MMS is very important to you. I'm able to load, so let's go ahead and let's close out of this. And again, this is an issue I've heard from a bunch of people that you've had to redo City a couple times to get it working. So let's see what happens here. Just going to say loading up information. Now that's nature outside, that's nothing to do with the app. Alright, that time it worked. So it looks like um, if you get a little issue, just go ahead and close out. Alright, we're good. And I guess if we want to load an app, we'll just go down here to search. And, and let's look for... Install. Confirm. Uh, load Springboard. line up there. Let's see if that goes away after the jailbreak. And that this worked right. Yes, it did. So jailbreak is complete. City is working. And of course, we will then take City and move it over to the home screen where it so rightly belongs. And again, to show you that this really is uh, a iOS 4 device, it's uh, there's a folder. So that's it. Jailbreak done. Everything from your computer, everything from your iPhone, nothing from your computer. No need for SHSH blobs. This is an easy jailbreak. This is the way it should be. Thank you guys. Uh, go again to tii.libson.com or todayinios.libson.com or today or go to todayiniphone.com or todayiniOS.com and you will be able to find a link to the jailbreak me site.